Hello again, it's Norman. Um, so the progress on the project. This is uh, June 12th. Um, this is just a quick one um, to comment on the way a project doesn't follow a logical pattern. So at the close of the last instalment, um, I showed you this, which is, I forgot what I called it, but it's um, an ideas board, the plan of the exhibition. Okay, so there it is, with all the little thumbnails of particular paintings, really nicely planned out. So you would think that having done this, I would then just proceed for the next year or so to to do those paintings. And why wouldn't you? Well, because of temperament. Um, once I'd planned that out, the day after I'd posted my video, I had a revolt in myself. I really didn't want to work on any of that at all. So I see this is some of the things I started to work back into, sanding back these crowd paintings um, with a big mechanical sander. Um, these are, of course, and, and reworking this one um, drastically. So it's, these are works that are more instinctual. So they're not so much about ideas. These are very much ideas. They take a lot of thought to do all those drawings that was doing. They're very much conscious thought and ideas. Whereas working on these is much more instinctual about color and just losing yourself in the paintings, maybe putting some music on and um, thinking about the marks and then stepping back and the abstraction of the paintings. So I got involved in those and who knows if they'll go in the show or not because they're not the same idea, but they might work in the show. Um, I also got involved in this, um, Remind ourselves that this is a painting I did a long time ago. This is the original newspaper photographs um, of the actress. But it seemed to me to be an expression of, of sorrow. And I was interested in that idea of a portrait as a painting of an emotion. Um, so these are two versions very much in progress. Um, of that. I'm trying to rework the paint, scrape it back, and as you can see they're quite a different palette. Um, so having two versions allowed me to go in different directions. With regards to this one, which we've seen in previous episodes, um, I went to Manchester and well the initial background is based on photographs and I found in the photographs, it's near the Thirsty Scholar, which is a, a old pub in Manchester. I really like this dingy atmospheric place. So this is painted on site uh, to feed that painting. Um, this is one you've probably not seen before. And it is connected in some ways to the beach scenes. These figures are based on a photograph, but they change drastically. The angle of the legs, the child, and all, all sorts. But I like it as a family group, it's family dynamic. Um, I don't know what it says. I haven't got a particular idea for what it says, but anyway, this is one I've been developing, one of the construction workers, just developing it in color. And this is one you may not have seen before. Another construction workers beginning. So that's where I'm up to. So, as I said, the ones I've been actively working on, <laughs> like these and the crowd paintings, are not in that initial plan. Um, to me, it doesn't matter that much what I'm working on, so long as I'm working. Um, Chuck Close, the artist, said, inspiration is for amateurs. Like, if you're a professional, you just get to work. And he loved the idea of knowing that in two weeks time he'd be working on you know this section of the painting down here and the day after he'd be working on this section down here that sort of regimented production just leaves me cold and i just can't work i very much admire it but i just don't work like that at all um so i'm very much according to mood um 
and I've, I've realized this from experience, like one of my previous projects was to do large paintings. And as soon as I set myself that project, I would write a big leap forward and start these big things. And then I'd be like, I just don't want to work on them. I'm not interested in doing that. I don't feel confident. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'd try and force myself to work on the project and it just didn't work. I know now that if I have a big project, it's something that I've set myself and I'm interested in and I will come back to it. So not to worry about it, just work on whatever you feel like working on and those themes will come back, whatever that project is. So that's what we're up to. Thanks. So this is an additional um, little word. First of all, I got the dates wrong. It wasn't June, it was July 13th or so. Uh, now it's July 29th. So um, amongst all this chaos, I don't even know what month it is. Uh, I want to show you a little bit more this month before the month's over of some of the many things that are going on. And you'll get an idea of just how jumpy it all seems um but somebody described it um there's a really great podcast called art juice and one of the people on that described it as being like a flower so you have the the center of the flower the center of the daisy and then the petals all around and i go off in all sorts of different areas of interest and styles and subjects but it always comes back to me and i'm at the center so i don't need to worry about it these little journeys, I can just enjoy them and then it'll always come back to my style in the end. Um, so I'll show you a little bit more of what I've been up to. So we'll start with these. Uh, these are easy to show. These are plein air paintings of Manchester uh, that are in the racks and have not been worked on for ages. But the reason I'm showing you is that I did work on this one just the other day. In fact, I had some videos of being stood on that spot in Moseley Street and the videos I found really helpful to work from rather than the photographs. Um, so hopefully some of these might go in the show. Um, so if nothing else sells, maybe some of them will. Um, this piece, um, I have a Zoom meeting with some people about spirituality and art and after the meeting, um, this image seemed significant. Uh, doing a drawing from it, just turning the page and doing some of the people and turning the page again and drawing another person and turning the page again and drawing another person. And it seemed like we're all in this sit down by James is a great song. We're all in this situation together, just lumped in this um, holding pattern, delayed at the airport. So that's as far as I got with that. Um, I worked a little more on this one of the construction guys and introduced the hose coming down and the hose down there. Um, this was a quick one while I had my son Jasper here. I worked on the painting of the boys and I started to order some massive canvases to do that. And then I thought, you know what, I might just actually put that on the back burner. Otherwise I'm never gonna finish any of these other things. Um, all right, this was a little bit of a journey. Um, something I started before, it's based on this photograph. And it seemed like there was a relationship of sort of envy or jealousy between these two um, athletes. So I started that, I swapped one of them around to face the other way and I started this acrylic painting. But I was I was also interested in this uh, Victorian or Edwardian costume and just because those photographs were next to each other on my ideas board. And so I started to research a little bit about images of people in that costume and doing really bad Photoshop. You know, it's terrible, just slapping a head on top of a body. Um, anyway, came out with th this kind of thing. Um, so heads superimposed on different bodies, but in a relationship that 
uh, hopefully begins to imply some sort of tension between the two ladies one who's getting attention the light is flowing onto her and one who's in the shadowed background um, whether any I'll do anything with that I don't know and in a similar vein technically quite different but in terms of imagery it's also two women but these are friends one in light clothing one in dark clothing these are, but I just love the shapes that are created uh, the positive and negative shapes so I started to work this on top of abstract splodges of colour of leftover paint um, I also found these these were at home I forgot about them trying to develop a, a tension of relationship between the male and female I've always it seems really obvious but I always find it really fascinating the the bulk of a man's shape against the delicacy and slenderness of a woman's shape that's it's just both emotionally and um, technically very interesting to me. Is there anything else? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's it. Um, so, that's what we're up to. Thanks for listening. See you next time.